the Cane Boys band getting ready to leave the pitch. Terry playing from right to left with these all in green with the darker Knicks playing from left to right. Terry playing with sun, sun, and quite an amount of sun and very little green. The whistles are throwing and the all Ireland final is on. Me the first to break away, but it's DJ Crowley for Kerry. DJ out to the side of the field. Mick O'Connell on the halfway line. Back to his own 70. And now, well up field, up towards the left. Ball going near the sideline. Mick White going for it. Mick O'Dwyer going for it. The referee penalizes Mick White for pushing Mick O'Dwyer. And there is a free in the first 25 seconds of the game. Mick O'Connell coming down to take it. And Mick's kick is a lovely one into the goal mouth. Up goes Jack Quinn and Liam Higgins. Liam Higgins has got it for Kerry. Taps it back to Mick O'Dwyer. Mick O'Dwyer back now to Pat Griffin. Pat Griffin's kick is stopped down by Ollie Shanley. Ollie Shanley first timing up the far side of the field. Ball into the centre. Pulled on by Vincent Foley to Mickey Fane. 60, 70 yards out. Now 50 yards out for the Kerry goal. Racing up the far side of the field. Seamus Murphy is after him. He's on the 14. He takes his shot. And it's gone across the goal mouth. And it's still in play, it's still in play. Ken Riddick has gone out for me. He's kept him play on this side of the field. Pops it across into the center. Mickey Fay going down for it. Doesn't go quite as hard at it as does Tom Prendergast. Tom Prendergast gets it as well. And there is a free out for Terry. Lucky escape there. Lucky escape there for Terry. He taken my court. I don't know, way down the field. And the ball goes out on the wing. Where it goes out to uh, Brendan Lynch. Brendan Lynch goes right through his shot. And he's fouled as he takes the kick. And referee Paul Kelly right up at the play. Awards a free to carry from the Rome, uh, from the lead 21-yard line. Dead straight in front of the goal. And Mick O'Dwyer takes the kick and sends it over the bar. The first goal of the All-Ireland final. After two minutes of play, Mick O'Dwyer... For Kerry, making the score, one point to no score. So, Kulawine, Ikiri, just the Iran score for second D. And that is Mick O'Dwyer's 22nd point of the championship. His first one today, and let's see what kind of a tally he builds up. Kick out, taken by Bertie Cunningham to the far side of the field. Pat Reynolds tries to bring it down, doesn't quite get to it. Out on the far side is Mick Mellett. Mick Mellett for me, into the centre. Jim Joe Crowley gets his hand to it. The ball goes back to Pat Reynolds for me. From his own 70-yard line. Out towards Ken Rennitz and Tony Sullivan. Tony Sullivan for Kerry. Get in there first. Hurling the ball into the centre. Pat Reynolds going up for it. So also going up for it. There's Vincent Foley. Foley for me. Up into the centre. The ball goes to Matt Kerrigan. Matt Kerrigan now sends a dummy. About 30 yards out. It's high. And his shot has gone wide. And the score remains after three minutes of play. Kerry won, Kerry won point. I notice the two scoreboards have given the point to Meade. They must be slightly mixed up with the colours or something, but it is a Kerry, Kerry leading one point to Meade's no score, and both scoreboards have given that point to Meade. From the kick out, the ball comes to uh, Donny Sullivan. Donny out the far side of the field. Pat Reynolds under the ball, being chased by Eamon O'Donoghue. Tom Prendergast is there, and the referee blows his whistle and awards a free which <laughs> Matt Reynolds is anxious to take 50 yards out from the Kerry goal, but in fact is about 75 yards out from it, and Terry Kearns has gone over to take it. I ball to this side. Ball breaking, nobody seems to be going for it. Mick Mellon gets the food to it, but his kick is blocked down. DJ Crowley trying to come out with it. Tony Brennan with it now to Pat Reynolds for me. Pat, 40 yards out for the Kenny goal. Now 30, now on the 21, he's brought down. And there is a free in, a free in for me. Gets straight in front of the goal. Left half back, Pat Reynolds, terrorizing his way up the field. And Mickey Fay is going to take it. Here he comes. From Trim, the score of that one, making the score now, Kerry one point, Mead one point after four and a half minutes of play. And Mick Fay, who up to today scored two goals and four points of the championship for Mead, has registered Mead's only score so far. 
of thing about the main team no less than 14 clubs represented on the team the only team club team with two representatives is trim mickey fay that you saw uh, getting that point at the got that point a few moments ago and ollie shandley and here's pat reynolds thundering his way up the field but he's penalized for carrying the ball too far and there is a free to carry 70 yards out from the Kerry goal, far side of the field, 50 yards out from the Kerry goal. Seamus Murphy to take the kick, 10 yards into the far sideline. Ball knocked down there by Vincent Foley, but waiting for it for Kerry. With D.J. Crowley, his kick half locked down. Mick O'Connell gone back for it. And the referee has awarded a free to Mick O'Connell. And Mick takes this one, the shortest one, up along the far wing. A lovely piece of field in there by Bertie Cunningham. Bertie hungry for the ball there, grabbing it and sending it upfield, the hopping ball into the waiting and outcoming Seamus Murphy sending Kerry attacking again. Pat Griffin downfield, comes up coming across now, Mick White for me, the Mick soloing his way up the field. Right for a curling shot, Ken Riddick coming out for it very nicely, brought down by him, 50 yards out, taking his shot from way out, but it is not quite as wide as the proverbial gate, but wide enough. Need one point, Kerry one point, six minutes gone, remember 40 minutes in each half. What a done who's kick out to the far side of the field, Tom Prendergast in under it. Tom still going up the field with it now, 20 yards, now 30, shortish pass intended to Brendan Leach, but <laughs> out comes Bertie Cunningham and no delay, no drawback and belts the ball right into the crowd far side of the field. Line ball for Kerry. Kerry playing with wind and sun on the first half to score, one point each. Mick O'Connell to take this line ball just outside the beat 50 yard line. The background of the Cusick stand, far side of the field, up goes Jack Quinn and he's got the ball. Lovely feed in there by Jack Quinn and Jack out to this side of the field on a very long clearance but it's certainly a high one. This to down for Dutch McLeeson has come out for it. Mick Leeson up now towards Liam Higgins. Liam Higgins being chased, sends the ball out to the wing, but it's gone to Brendan Lynch. Brendan Lynch has shot the tie, and it's over the bar. A point by Brendan Lynch. Brendan Lynch there with a number 10 for Kerry getting the ball, and very nicely sending it over to put Kerry into the lead by two points to one after eight minutes of play. And for the record, Brandon has scored 14 points so far in the championship and won today. Here he got Kulina, because Kulina won, Egon D. From the kick out, the ball breaks down. Pat Reynolds with it now. Pat right through to the wing. Mick Bay coming across for it. has got it. Takes his shot from far out, very far out, and the ball goes very wide. Kerry two points, B one. Tony Sullivan with the kick out, nicely faded in the centre of the field, this time by Vincent Lynch, and Vincent is fouled by Mick O'Connell, and there's a free for me. 60 yards out from the Kerry goal. High dropping ball, missed it down dangerously, there was Tom Prendergast, gets his boot to it, out to DJ Crowley inside his own 50, now on his 50. Heading now for his 70. He sends the ball right through the center. Mick White goes up for it. Jack Quinn goes back for it. Jack Quinn for me, gone back for it now, but he's on 21. And getting the ball out to this side of the field. Mick O'Connell going up for it. And Mick is penalized for jumping on the back of Vincent Foley. Who certainly have history today. Kerry Kearns is free, right up field, but Tony Sullivan comes out to break up the Meath attack. Down towards Pat Griffin, Pat Griffin's got the ball. But he's brought down there by Terry Kearns, and there is a free for Kerry. Just inside the Mead 70-yard line, Nick O'Connell to take it, a shortage one towards Eamon O'Donoghue. Eamon isn't quite ready for it, and doesn't go quite where he was anyway, and Ali Shanley takes the clearance, but the clearance is out over the line. Line ball for Kerry. And in the bright sunshine already this shadow of the Hogan stand beginning to creep relentlessly across the field already now it's a yard or two in the over the sideline here Tony Sullivan to take the line ball just outside the meet 70 yard line and Tony has cut it off his boot 
sliced it and sent it out over the sideline, most undony Sullivan-like, over the sideline for a line ball for me. This one about 40 yards out from their goal, up towards the left in front of the Hogan stand. Mick White into the center. Mick O'Connell goes for it, Vincent Foley goes for it, breaks between them. For the, uh, Eamon O'Donoghue goes backwards, back now to uh, DJ Crowley. DJ up and on the wing, gets the ball in. Intended pass intercepted there by Vincent Foley. Vincent Foley pushes his way through and sends the ball out to the far side of the field. Mick Mallet is going for it, and so also is Tom Prendergast. Prendergast gets the ball up, Me, the peel that he's picked it off the ground. Referee doesn't bother about the appeal or doesn't agree with it either one or the other. And now it's Pat Griffin with the ball for Kerry. Into the centre, Mick Gleeson with it now, on the 14-yard line, trying to work his way through, trying to get room to swing his leg, and he can't. Ball comes back to Brendan Lynch, Brendan slips, out along the wing now, Eamon O'Donoghue. Eamon O'Donoghue for Kerry, Ollie Shanley is back there, Pat Reynolds is there, Pat Reynolds is everywhere. Right now with the ball, thundering his way up the field, and then clearing it up into the centre of the pitch. Lovely piece of field there by Mike Shea, Mike Shea now for Kerry, putting Kerry attacking. Attack broken up by Vincent Foley. Vincent Foley out to the far side. And Ken Rennicks comes out for the ball. But going back to Tom Prendergast. Tom Prendergast low down feed when it goes to Pat Griffin. Pat Griffin suddenly has out from the beef goal. This is the ball up now to DJ Crowley. DJ hesitates that second. Is beaten for the ball by Ollie Shanley who gets it to Pat Reynolds. Pat Reynolds kicked blocked by Brendan Lynch. Ball out to this side of the field. Ollie Shanley with it now. Ollie's kicked blocked down. Goes back to Mick White for me. Mick O'Dwyer is after him, but Mick White gets in his clearance. Mick O'Connell high for the ball, and the referee blows his whistle and awards a free for something or other that he saw there. And uh, there is a free for Bede just inside the Kerry 70-yard line. The shortage one taken by Vincent Lynch to Vincent Foley. Vincent Foley up along the far wing. In possession, no, no, no. The ball crashed into the net by Joe Murphy, but the referee had blown his whistle for a free to me long, long time before that ball was kicked into the net. McVeigh to take the 14-yard free. Here it comes. Over the bar to make them level. After 12 minutes of play, McVeigh the scorer. Need two points. Kerry, two points. Now there are rain score and... The young, fair-haired man from Trim, the scorer of that one, Mickey Fay. In fact, he scored the two points for me. Tony Sullivan's kick out to D.J. Crowley. D.J. Crowley pushed in the back there, and there is a free for Kerry, just about 60 yards out. Oh, where? Yes. Still about 60 yards out. A little bit more from the Kerry goal, D.J. Crowley to take. Vincent Foley, by the way, is marking Mick O'Connell and Vincent Lynch marking G.J. Crowley as Jack Quinn clears this attacking move by Kerry out over the sideline, line ball for Kerry. Out from the lead goal in front of the Hogan stand and it's D.J. Crowley to take it. Lowish one, brought down and now being brought up the field by Vincent Lynch and he's still going up the field. He's still going up the field. He started at his own 50. He's at the Kerry 50 to Matt Kerrigan. Matt Kerrigan sells the dummy. He passed the ball out now to the incoming Vincent Lynch. Vincent takes a shot and it's three for me. The point. Vincent Lynch, the scorer. Three points to two, 14 minutes gone, Mead leading by this one point. And we can put it like Coolina Wine, and we three Coolini Agus Kiri Ta Ga Coolina Akasun. Order than a hook near the Wool of Mark, along the park there. Lovely feeding there by Vincent Foley, who seems to be going higher in the air than Mick O'Connell, but this time he's penalised for carrying the ball too far, holding on to it. Some of the crowd don't agree with it, but I don't think that there's much doubt about it. And there is a free for Kerry, Mick O'Connell to take it, 70 yards out from his own goal, right up towards Pat Griffin, Pat Griffin and Terry Kern, with Pat Griffin in possession, in now to Eamon O'Donoghue, Eamon O'Donoghue setting himself a high one, and 
and it's gone over for the equaliser. Eamon O'Donoghue, the fair-haired Eamon, one of the Valley Lumford of Donoghue brothers, sending that one over to make the score. Halfway, or after 15 minutes, it would have been halfway through the first half of the old days, but now it's after 15 of the 40 minutes in the first half to make the score three points each. Bertie Cunningham's kick out to this side of the field, and it's Eamon O'Donoghue beaten to it this time, but no, he recovers again. Ball goes up along the left wing. Liam Higgins coming out for it. Mick White going back for it. Liam Higgins for Kerry into Eamon O'Donoghue. On the 21, on the 14. Across comes Kerry Kearns. He takes his shot at the save. It's saved by Sean McCormick. Knocked down to Kerry Kearns. And Kerry has gone out over the end line. Kerry has gone out over the line with the ball. A good save there from a point blank shot by Eamon O'Donoghue. Ball went to Terry Kearns. Terry stepped out over the line with the ball. And there is a 54 Kerry. Ten yards to the left with the goal on our left and Mick O'Connell will take it. Lovely dropping ball goes into Liam Higgins. Liam fisted high and over the bar. A point for Kerry. Full forward Liam Higgins, number 14. With one of the men from Bliss Bowl fisting that one over to make the score. Kerry four points, Steve three. And the time, just over 16 minutes gone in the first half. And Bertie Cunningham to take the kick out for me. Into the centre of the field, Matt Kerrigan with it now. Drop kicking up field, Tony Sullivan, who's been lifting quite a bit for the last few minutes. No sign of a limp as he clears this one out. Over his head to the far side, where Brendan Lynch is penalised for pushing Pat Reynolds under the dropping ball. And there is a free for me to be taken by Vincent Lynch has gone over now Vincent number 9 going to take it just outside the Kerry 50 yard line lovely dropping ball nicely fielded there by Donny Sullivan and Donny limping as he kicks it over to this side of the field and it's Mick O'Connell all alone now Mick 50 yards out from his own goal up to Eamon O'Donoghue 70 yards out from the Meath goal across to the far side of the wing to uh, Mick Neeson Mick Neeson now with the ball outside the Meath 50 yard line still going up the wing now he's 40 yards out sends it to Pat Griffin Pat Griffin on the 21 going into the centre takes a shot that's high and it goes in towards the goal but Sean McCormick is there in the goal and Sean clears the high one out to the far side of the field in under it going up to meet it there Vincent Lynch and Vincent Lynch right through the centre now towards Matt Kerrigan Matt Kerrigan going very very quickly on a ball there two lead men and one Kerry man in there and there was quite a collision Matt Kerrigan drawing on the ball Mick Mallett was in there Tom Prendergast of Kerry referee has penalised Mick Mallett for a rather loose swing of a boot there and there is a free for Kerry taken by Mick O'Connell goes down to Liam Higgins Liam Higgins being chased by Pat Reynolds, still Liam Higgins, and it's Liam Higgins up now to Mick Neeson. Mick Neeson on the 21, the shot that's to the right and it's wide. Kerry still leading by one point, four to three. Kiri Kansasik, the Kulina wine. Kerry Kulini, a Kiri August Tripulini, a Gumbin. Bertie Cunningham to take the kick out. Jumping on the back of Vincent Foley. Mick just can't seem to master Vincent Foley today, and that's quite an unusual thing to be saying, but it's perfectly true so far. Teddy turns up the field to Mick, or to Matt Pennington, and then to Tony Brennan. Tony Brennan is shot. Tony sends it over the bar, and it's the equalizer for me again. As Tony Brennan, racing from the near side, went over to the far side, and the dark-haired Tony Brennan, number 10, comes back now to take his place, and he has equalized with that point after 19 minutes of play. Otto Donahue's puck out to this side of the field. Vincent Foley taps it down to Tony Brennan on the halfway line. Tony Brennan out to the far side of the field. Big Bay going out for it. So also Seamus Murphy. Bay has got it. Seamus Murphy is after him, but it's still Mick Bay with the ball. Into the centre now, almost overplayed it, but Ditton sends a loving one across into the goal, but Ken Rennick tries to get to it, but Johnny Quality is there, and with the backs policing the forwards, Johnny gets the ball out to this side of the field. Vincent uh, Lynch 
doesn't quite see where it goes. Mike Shea does, and Mike sends it up this side of the field. Mick O'Dwyer with it now. 70 yards out to the lead goal, into Eamon O'Donnell. Here comes Mick White to intercept. Mick White for Mead. Mead in the darker trunks, breaking up that attack, and Mick O'Connell putting Kerry attacking again. Ball breaks down off the chest of a Mead man there to Eamon O'Dwyer, who's held a quickly taken free into Brendan Lynch. Brendan Lynch going through now. His way blocked by Jack Quinn, who I think sensed that there was a loose Kerry man inside him. There was. His name was Liam Higgins. And he thought the best thing to do was to stop the play by pulling down Brendan Lynch. Mick O'Dwyer to take this one, and Mick sends it over the bar to put Kerry in front again. Mick O'Dwyer, the scorer, and the time, 20 minutes of this first half, with Kerry leading by five points to four. John McCormick, placing the ball for the kick-out by Bertie Cunningham. Mick O'Connell's got this one in the centre of the field. And from the halfway mark, sends the ball up along the left wing. Mick White getting it. And Mick, this sturdy defender for me, sending a high ball upfield. Vincent Foley is under it. And Vincent Foley going up the field for me. Still going up the field. On the 50-yard line now, he's got Vincent Lynch on his outside. The pass isn't a very good one, but it's deflected to him by Tony Brennan. And Vincent Lynch trying to Billy Jenny with the ball there. DJ Crowley doesn't approve. Ball cleared out by Mike Shea goes to Vincent Foley. And back from Meath again. Vincent Foley stick goes up to Joe Murphy to pull forward. Joe gets inside, takes a shot. It goes off Tony. Tony Sullivan back now to Moulton McVay. McVay over his head, and it is the point. Third point for me, making the score now 35, Mead 5, and the time almost 22 minutes of the first half. And they're going step by step, score by score, five points each. And anybody that thought that this was going to be a runaway for anybody, how wrong can you be? From the kick out, the ball comes down, far side of the field, Mick Mellet under it. In there is Pat Reynolds, Pat Reynolds for Mead. Mead playing from left to right up to Joe Rennicks. Joe Rennicks from way out takes his shot. And I'm sure a lot of Mead people are saying he mightn't have bothered. Still five points each, and that one went so wide. Sun beating down gloriously. Kick out comes about 60 yards out from the Kerry goal. DJ Crowley, DJ still with it in now to Mick O'Connell. Mick O'Connell fishing it out the wing to Tom Prendergast. Tom Prendergast sidestepping his man going up the center of the field now and being chased by Vincent Foley. Vincent has touched him in the back there and there is a free for a push and this free will be taken by Mick O'Connell for Kerry just inside the lead 70 yard line. Mick's kick is up towards Mick Leeson fisted up by Bertie, Cun Bertie Cunningham who is penalized for holding or pushing in the back. Paul Kelly not standing for any infringements where the backs are concerned and Brendan Lynch is going to take this free from the 21-yard line, and here it comes. It's over the bar, a point, point for Perry, and the lead once again as Brendan Lynch sends over to make it 6-5. to five. 23 minutes gone, and Brendan Lynch has certainly been one of the marksmen today, having got two of Kerry's six points. 23 minutes gone in the first half. Bertie Cunningham's kick into the centre of the field. Matt Kerrigan has it. Tall Matt coming out to this side of the field. Selling a dummy. Still going with the ball. He's gone too far. And the referee calls him back. Referee penalises him. He must have taken a good seven or eight steps there. Three inside the Kerry 60-yard line. Taken by Mick O'Connell up to Mick O'Dwyer. The Mick O's partnership again. Mick O'Dwyer tries to pass it back. But the pass intercepted by Ollie Shanley. Ollie coming up field with the ball now, being chased by Eamon O'Donoghue, but gets his kick in to Matt Kerrigan. Matt Kerrigan doesn't hold on to it, but Vincent Lynch sends a high ball way up field, and Joni Sullivan is penalized for pushing there. A little bit of pushing by Joe Murphy after the ball had ceased to roll, too, but Joni Sullivan was penalized quite rightly there for a push, and there is a free in to be taken by Tony Brennan. About 25 yards out from the goal, 15 for the near side line, and here he comes. There's a curl on it, and it has curled wide. And the 
four remains. Curry six, he five. Almost 25 minutes gone in the first half. Tony Brennan not looking the happiest of men by any means. Well, I don't know who's kick out into the center of the field. Comes down to Vincent Lynch. Vincent Lynch way out towards the wing, but the ball are towards the end line. The ball brought... <laughs> well, it must have gone over before it was brought over. The umpire was on the line. He was the man who saw. It looked from up here as if it was brought over, but the umpire right on the line saw exactly what happened. And Paul O'Donoghue takes the kick out. DJ Crowley brings it down for Mick O'Connell. Mick O'Connell up along the left wing now towards Mick O'Dwyer. Mick O'Dwyer has got inside Mick White. Mick White's gone back after him. Mick O'Dwyer steadying himself a lovely curling dropping ball that's going in towards the goal mouth that's hopped in the parallelogram. Jack Quinn has got it and Jack Quinn coming out with it. Right put it out to the far side of the field. Mick Mallet brings it down. Vincent Foley is in there for me. Low ball up along the far wing. Seamus Murphy racing down. The ball screws off his boot. Across it comes to Tony Brennan. Tony Brennan passes up to Ken Rennix. Ken Rennix sends the ball back now to Matt Kerrigan. Matt Kerrigan trying to get through. Not Matt Kerrigan, Joe Murphy it is. Trying to get through. His way blocked there by a holding defender. And there is a free-in for the dead straight in front of the goal and about 30 yards out. Tony Brennan to take it. Can this be the equaliser once again? The answer is no. Oh, dear. How wide that one went. There was a real tail on it. In fact, from the time it left his boot, it was heading out over the cameraman around the goal, not over the bar. Tony Brennan, usually a sharp shooter, but not, well, on that occasion. From the kick out, the ball to this side of the field, very near the sideline, kept in play. Evan O'Donoghue. And Tony Brennan tossing for it. Eamon O'Donnell into DJ Crowley. DJ Crowley out to the far side of the field. Brendan Lynch under the goal. Pat Reynolds, who up to now is certainly the man of the match. Pat Reynolds grabbing that ball and putting me the tacking. Mickey Fay grabbing it too. 40 yards out now, trying to get inside Seamus Murphy. Seamus Murphy trying to shadow him off, but Fay still with the ball. Out to the far side of the field. Joe Murphy gone out from Todd O'Donoghue. Todd can't fight. Stay upright as he gets his hand to it, but in getting his hand to it, he has sent it out over the sideline. A line ball for me. 15 yards out from the Kerry goal, far side of the field, and Joe Murphy is going to take it himself. Well, if wives were goals, he would be champions. Oh dear, that one so very, very wide. In fact, it was nearer the corner flag than it was the goal post, and the score remains Kerry 6, me 5. From the kick out, Mick O'Connell high up for this one with the ball now. Picks it a shortish intended pass that's intercepted on the far side of the field by Mick Mallett who's coming across this side now. And Mick soloing up this side of the field. A dropping ball out towards the left. Mick Bay is brought down. Mick Bay brought down as he was thinking of going for the ball. Not that he was going for it, but he was thinking of going. And Seamus Murphy grounded it. And with sharpshooters in normal form, that can be an expensive thing to do. Can this one be the equaliser? It is over the bar. Mick Bay the scorer after 28 minutes of play. Mead 6, Kerry 6. A rain score at all there. And Mick Bay the scorer of that one. And Mick has scored four of those six points. And believe it or not, the football has gone back into the crowd and has not been sent back. Well, we've had quite a bit of this in hurling lately. I'll guarantee that nobody puts the football in his pocket and walks out of Croke Park, but uh, somebody's thinking of it anyway. And there's a slow hand clap going on now. Somewhere back in the crowd, and if somebody would just give them back the ball to get on with the game, there's another ball been thrown in now. Something tells me there's a big net going to be built back there before very, very long, and when the ball's in the net, it won't necessarily be in the goal. Six points each, Tony Sullivan with the kick out. Way down the field, Mick O'Connell's got it. Mick about 60 yards out, taps it very quickly over to Eamon O'Donoghue into the on-running Mick O'Connell. Mick White comes out after him, but Mick O'Connell up now to Mick O'Dwyer, but 
The referee is called back to play for that attempted trip by Mick White on Mick O'Connell, and there is a free in for Kerry, and this one is about 30 yards out from the lead goal and almost in front of it. Mick O'Connell to take the kick, and here it is. And Mick O'Connell has sent it wide. Well, if Mead could do it down the other end of the field a few moments ago, Mick O'Connell has just proved that anything they can do, he can do just as well. Six points each. Nick Manners with the ball for Mead, 70 yards from their own goal, cutting across into the centre now, running up, waiting for the pass and getting the pass is Vincent Lynch. Vincent Lynch, 50 yards out now, now 40. DJ Crowley is after him, DJ has pushed him. No, he hasn't, I thought he had. But uh, the referee waves play on and now it's Tom Prendergast going soloing up the field. He's still going up the field. 70 yards out now. Now 60 yards out, he sends it in towards Liam Higgins. Liam is pushed in the back by Jack Quinn. And there is a three in for Kerry, dead straight in front of the goal. Nick O'Dwyer to take it just outside the 21-yard line. And Kerry lead again as Nick O'Dwyer sends it over the bar. Seven points to six in favour of Kerry. Nick O'Dwyer the scorer and just over 30 minutes gone in this first half. Bertie Cunningham with the kick out. Into the centre of the field, Mike Shea going up high for that ball. 70 yards out to the lead goal, a high one in towards the goal route. Jack Quinn trying to get a hold of it, Pat, but coming into it now is Pat Griffin, but Perry out to the wing to Mick Leeson, Mick Leeson is shot, and a save! And a great save there by Sean McCormick. Uh, but it is a 50. Certainly a point-blank shot. Uh, and Teddy Kearns, in fact, it was who deflected it first. It was Teddy Kearns who brought it down, and it was deflected out over the line for a 50. It looked with goal written all over it. And here comes Mick O'Connell with the 50. And Homer has nodded once again. Another wide. Seven points to six. Kerry leading by one point. Seamus Fitzgerald is on the Kerry team. Just who's going off? I'm not sure, but Seamus Fitzgerald has come on. And Tony Sullivan, who has been limping, is going off the Kerry team. And Seamus Fitzgerald is on. Nick O'Connell with the ball now. Up along the left wing. Nick White is now for me. Just outside. Inside his own 50. A high lobbing ball into the centre. Matt Kerry can try to get up with it and hold on to it. It breaks down to Mick Mellon. Mick Mellon. High ball. Up along the wing now. Seamus Fitzgerald there as he goes up for his first ball and clears the ball way outfield down towards Pat Griffin taps it down to Mick O'Dwyer Mick O'Dwyer in out to Mick O'Connell Mick O'Connell inside the 50 and his way is blocked by Jack Quinn he's on the ground and the referee team and holding the ball going down Mick O'Connell playing a little bit there for a free and the referee Paul Kelly who let's face it had once or twice been thought to give Mick a few frees over the years that, uh, well, were in admiration more than anything else, but certainly not today. From this free, the ball comes over the heads of backs, half-backs and half-forwards, goes over the line, and it is a line ball for Kerry to be taken by Seamus Fitzgerald just outside the 50-yard line. And that shadow really marching over the ground now. feeding the ball, 60 yards out to the lead goal, trying to get inside Ali Shanley, succeeds in shaking him off, sends the ball up now to Liam Higgins, Liam Higgins gets inside, Jack Quinn, he's going through now, but Mick White's gone back there, but it's still Liam Higgins, Liam Higgins across into the centre, where Brendan Lynch gets the ball, sends it high and another point for Kerry, Brendan Lynch snapping the ball up and sending it over, quick as a wink, to make the score now, Kerry 8 points, me 6, Gawkurin at Renish, Kiri Gawkurin Kuntasik, Brandon Lynch, the score of that one, the lad from Bulford, the score of three of Kerry's total today. 
in the centre of the field. Matt Kerrigan breaks the ball away. A very short attacking kick there that's held by Mick O'Shea. Mick O'Shea upfield. Mick O'Connell with it now. Mick coming more and more into the game up along the left wing. Jack Quinn gone out for it now. Jack Quinn with the ball. About 30 yards from his own goal. A long, high, relieving clearance. Up goes Matt Kerrigan. The ball tapped down there in the centre by John O'Keefe. But Matt Kerrigan gets it. And it's Matt going up along the far wing now. Cutting inside. John O'Keefe after him. But Matt takes his kick. It's a high one. Out to the left and it's gone wide. And Mick Fay almost wound up in the netting there as he was coming in. But it was an effort that uh, almost brought a score. It didn't. The score. Kerry, eight points. Me, six. Up near the far sideline, the ball gone off a carry man, and it's a line ball for me. 36 minutes gone on the first half. Matt Reynolds kicked a high one, way up the field. Joe Murphy brings it down, Seamus Fitzgerald can't quite hold on, the ball goes back now to Tony Brennan. Tony Brennan from 21 yards out of fist won the tie, and it is over the bar. A point by Tony Brennan, snatching up there a defensive error by the carry man, snatching it up, not daring to kick it in the close company that he was in there fisting it over and sending it now to make the score just one point between them eight points to seven in favor of Kerry and over 36 minutes gone the ball coming up near the sideline this side of the field has gone off uh, Eamon O'Donoghue I would think from up here so does the linesman down there and it's a lines ball to be taken line ball to be taken by Vincent Lynch, just outside the 50-yard line, a high one in towards the goal, across comes Ken Rennicks, Paul O'Donoghue goes up for it, Paul's got it, Paul passes it out down to Seamus Fitzgerald, Seamus Fitzgerald, high ball, right through the centre, Mick Godwire taps it down, comes down to Eamon O'Donoghue, the pass intercepted by Vincent Foley, a second effort there by Eamon O'Donoghue goes to Pat Griffin, Pat Griffin trying to throw the hand his way up the field, eventually pitch the ball high, Distant further upfield by Mick O'Dwyer, but coming out, grabbing the ball and clearing it out, Jack Quinn. Joe Rennicks goes up for it, so what is it, Mike Shea, Mike Shea for Kelly with it now. And Mike, from his own 50-yard line, out to the far side of the field, Brendan Lynch running out, out for it. Pat Reynolds is out there, so is Mick Gleason for Kelly. The Kelly man with it now, into the centre, Dean Higgins and Jack Quinn together. Hands grabbing for it, nobody gets it, neither of these two anyway, at first, but at second it's Dean Higgins. Dean Higgins in possession, out to Brendan Lynch, Brendan Lynch very near the sideline, far side of the field. Being chased out there by Bertie Cunningham and it's still Brendan Lynch, coming inside. And he takes a shot across the goal, now it's gone just wide. And when I say it's gone just wide, it's gone just wide. Eight points for Kerry, seven points for me. We make it about two minutes left in this first half on our stopwatch. Bertie Cunningham's kick out. And it comes to Bertie's man. It comes to Mick Gleason. Mick Gleason with it now inside of Pat Griffin. Pat Griffin on the 21 takes a shot. The shot block, blocked down there by Bertie Cunningham. Comes back to Mick O'Dwyer. Mick O'Dwyer quickly over the bar. And it's a point for Kerry scored by Mick O'Dwyer. Quick dashing in there, slapping it up and sending it over, making it 9 to 7. Mick O'Dwyer from Waterville. Man who started as a star halfback has moved into the forwards in recent years and what a star and brilliant forward he's made. Bertie Cunningham taking the kick up. Mick O'Connell going higher than anybody in the centre of the field for this one. Taps the ball out. Intended for him and O'Donoghue. Goes, however, to Ali Shanley. Ali Shanley going into attack now. Sometimes forward, sometimes defender. Right now, an attacking defender. From 50 yards out, a dropping one into the goal mouth. Joe Murphy gets up to it. The ball comes out this side of the field. Tony Brennan and Mike Shea going for it. Tony Brennan in possession of the ball. Mike Shea after him. Mike tapping it away from him. Mike getting possession and getting the ball down to this side of the field. But it's... Tipped and play, tipped and play, but the referee has seen something and has awarded a free to Kerry, just down in under us here, and this free will be taken uh, for Kerry by Mick O'Connell, just about 60 yards out from their own goal. Less than a minute left in the first half on our stopwatch. 
Up towards Mick O'Dwyer. Mick O'Dwyer's got it. Mick White trying to get back to it, but Mick O'Dwyer fists it inside now. Lean Higgins with it. Lean Higgins being chased by Jack Quinn. Jack Quinn. Freddie Lynch is in there now. Goes back to Bertie Cunningham. Bertie Cunningham is on 21. And with Terrier like Cunningham, Dash gets the ball up to Mick Mallet. Mick Mallet, a high one up now to Mick Bay. Mick Bay holds the ball. 40 yards out from the Kerry goal. Sends it high, right in. And it's blocked up with Danny Quality. Danny Quality out to this side of the field. Shorty Searance by Paul O'Donnell, but an effective one to Mike O'Shea. Mike now, high up the field. Near the half time whistle. Ball comes down to Vincent Lynch. The referee blows his whistle and awards the free to be outside the Kerry 50. A shortish one into the centre to Vincent Foley. Vincent Foley from 50 yards out, high in towards the goal mouth. Ball goes and there is a free. Ball goes to Joe Rennix. Joe Rennix is fouled by Seamus Fitzgerald and there is a free, a Ken Rennix I should say, is fouled and there is a free in dead straight in front of the goal for me. Mick Bay to take it, Ken Rennicks was the man who was trying to make his way through, and here comes Mick. Over the bar a point, and we are very definitely near the half-time whistle. And the score now, nine points to eight in favour of Kerry, just one point between them. Remember, Kerry have been playing with the wind and the sun in the first half. And another ball has gone back into the crowd, and this time, the halos have been donned, and the ball is back. Johnny Cullity, seeking his fifth All-Ireland medal today. Placing the ball for the kick-out, taken by Paul O'Donoghue, and there goes the half-time whistle. And so, at the end of the first half, Terry leads by one point, Terry nine points, lead eight. Nine points to eight, couple on the wing. Ball goes up towards Joe Murphy, Paul O'Donoghue is in there, and the referee penalizes the knees man for pushing forward there, and there is a free out for uh, Kerry from just outside their own 21 yard line. Paul O'Donoghue to take it. Kerry, incidentally, with 12 clubs represented on the team. This ball, Spa, and Bally Longford, the clubs duly represented, and Paul O'Donoghue, who took that one a moment ago, the one of the two Bally Longford representatives. The ball out over the sideline, line ball for Kerry, 60 yards of their own goal. Taken up along the right wing. Terry turns with it now for Meade. Terry coming down field, soloing down. Up along the left wing now. Ball goes to Ford O'Donoghue and Ford is tackled at the back there as he was trying to clear that ball out and there is a free out for Kerry from about 40 yards out from the own goal. And Seamus Murphy will take it. Seamus' kick, well up field. Brought down to Brendan Lynch, Brendan Lynch with the knock coming inside. Kerry playing from left to right, Meade from right to left. And Brendan Lynch is penalised for trying to hold Pat Reynolds off there, I would say. And there's a free out for me, Bertie Cunningham to take it. Bertie's kick along one, way down field. Tom Pendergast for Kerry with it now. Up the centre, but Pat Reynolds is there, and Pat beginning one of his soul has been chased by Mick Leeson. Sidestepping Mick Leeson and Mick O'Connell, and from 55 yards out, sends a high dropping ball in towards the goal mouth. Ken Rennix comes across for it, comes up with it, just outside the 21 yard line, has to get rid of it somewhere, and it goes down to Tony Brennan. Tony Brennan trying to get inside, has to get rid of it somewhere. Ball breaks loose to Ken Rennix again. Rennix from about 35 yards out, looks as if he was going to take a shot, decides to solo his way through, and hand passes the ball. Fists it back to the Kerry man, Mike Shea. And Mike sends it way up field. The hopping ball deceives one or two, but not Ali Shanley. And Ali, right half back, now going into the forward division, being chased very quickly now by Eamon O'Donoghue. But he's still got the ball. A high attacking ball across the cover, fisted in. And Johnny Cunnity saves in the goal. Johnny out to this side of the field, but Tom Prendergast is waiting for it. And Tom for Kerry being bottled up there by Mick Mallet. Still Tom and... This great little one sends the ball into the centre where Vincent Lynch gets it, and Vincent Lynch for me intended to get to Vincent Foley, intercepted by Pat Griffin, Pat Griffin to Mick O'Connell, Mick O'Connell left-footed through the centre now, right up where it comes to Liam Higgins, Liam out to the wing to Mick O'Dwyer, Mick O'Dwyer steadying himself, and Mick from way out the field, sends it wide. 
hit to Mick Dawson to Gray. Mick Dawson to Gray, but the umpire standing back as the ball was coming in, signaled the ball wide, and the score remains nine points to eight. Mick, Mick uh, O'Dwyer insisting that it was a point, but the umpire standing back as the ball was coming in looked up, and he very quickly signaled that it was wide. And no matter what Mick says, what the umpire says is what counts. Kick out by Bertie Cunningham, just it further down to by Ali Shanley, DJ Crowley with it now for Kerry. DJ, 50 yards out now from the lead goal. And just as he kicks the ball, he seemed to get pushed there, but uh, his shot went wide and the score remains 9-8. to eight. I think Jim Joe or DJ, call him what you like, but uh, I think he called the attention of one Paul Kelly to the fact that he was passing him by. Bertie Cunningham, kick. Outside the field, Teddy Kearns brings it down, but who gets it? But Eamon O'Donoghue for Kerry. Eamon to DJ Crowley, DJ Crowley to Pat Griffin. Pat Griffin just inside the 50. A high lobbing, dropping ball that's gone over the bar. A point by Pat Griffin for Kerry. And Pat number 11 out in the centre half forward position, sending that one over to make the score now. Kerry leading by 10 points to 8. Bertie Cunningham's kick out comes downfield. Vincent Lynch, who seems to be everywhere for me today, out to this side of the field. Nicely fielder, but knocked away. Tom Prendergast, the fielder. Mick Mallet, the knocker away. Mick Mallet back now to Matt Kerrigan. Matt Kerrigan about 60 yards out from the Kerry goal, out to the far side of the field. One out for it now is Joe Murphy. Joe Murphy and Paul O'Donoghue. Joe Murphy with the ball now. Paul is after him. And the referee has awarded a free to... Claude is appealing, but the forward bulldozed into him. The referee is pointing a free in for me. Tony Brennan to take it on the 14-yard line. Awkward enough kind of an angle, and here it comes. It's high, and it is over the bar for a point. Only one point between them again. Ten points to nine in favour of Kerry. Tony Brennan picking that one off. Tony, who hadn't been so successful in the first half with some of his shots, certainly successful with that one. kick out. Vincent Lynch taps it down. Out of the now on the far side is Tony Brennan. Low man up along the ground. Joe Murphy going for it. Paul O'Donoghue too. In there too. It's Seamus Murphy. Or Seamus Fitzgerald I should say. Seamus Fitzgerald way up the far side of the field. It's Mick O'Dwyer. Mick O'Dwyer with it now. Shaking off Kerry Cairns. Getting inside. His shot. Algie's running to the ball and it's over the bar. Oh that's Mick O'Dwyer. Just rhythm in football. Running with the ball and sending that ball as it in his stride, without changing stride, sending it over to make the score now 11 to 9 in favor of Kerry, and six minutes gone in the second half. The amazing Mick O'Dwyer, once a half back, now a very effective forward. Bertie Cunningham. Kick out into the center of the field, Mick O'Connell with it. Mick O'Connell out to the far side of the field, ball curling into the center. And the referee penalizes one of the forwards there for a bit of holding. And there's a free out for Meade from about just 45 yards or so out from their own goal. And Bertie Cunningham will take it. Well, would you believe 49 yards? Long one up the field. Tom Prendergast under it. Half robbed, but uh, recovers very nicely. Getting the ball into his hand up to Mick Deason. Mick Deason cutting inside now. 60 yards out, pass the ball across to Pat Griffin, Pat Griffin 50 yards out, cutting inside to the right this time, still going on, a shot that's gone in towards Sean McCormick in the goal, Sean well protected, getting the ball out to the far side of the field, Eamon O'Donoghue is in under it over there and he's got it, Teddy Cairns is after him but Eamon sends it in towards Liam Higgins, Liam Higgins on the 14, a curling, dropping ball, dropping across to Mick Deason, Mick Deason outside the part of the other coming way out now, Teddy's himself, takes a shot that has gone over the bar for a point, Mick Deason the corner, puts Kerry in front now by 12 points to nine. Well, nine, and Kerry, the sheet, three Colini, come to Siganish. Mick Leeson, the scorer of that. Eight minutes gone on the second half. Both sides noted for their grandstand finish ability, and now it is Vincent Lynch out to Matt Kerrigan. Matt Kerrigan 
misjudging the hop a little bit. The ball didn't hop quite the way he expected it would, and now he's trying to solo his way up. Gets past John O'Keefe, sends a hopping ball into the goal by Joe Murphy with it now. Just outside the parallelogram, trying to turn around and get a kick in. His kick is knocked down by Paul O'Donnell, comes out to Mickey Fay. Mick out in the left corner now with the ball. Sends it back to Matt Kerrigan. Matt Kerrigan with it on the 14. Trying to cut inside, he's gone inside. He takes his shot, the shot is blocked down by some part of somebody. And out comes the ball to DJ Crowley. DJ Crowley coming away with it and clearing it out under pressure over the sideline line ball for me. Need trailing by three points now, but need pressing, pressing, pressing. Pat Reynolds, I kick in towards the goal mouth. Tom Prendergast with it. Tom Prendergast, under pressure, gets a good clearance. It's a very high one. Mick O'Connell going up with Vincent Lynch. Vincent Lynch gets there first. DJ Crowley tries to block his way, but Lynch takes his shot, but goes to the right and goes by. Nine minutes gone. Second half, Kerry 12. Me, nine. Three points between them. Paul O'Donnell out to Mick O'Connell. Mick O'Connell beaten this time. But recovering very nicely. Kenny the ball along the ground. Mick O'Dwyer coming out 60 yards out to the meat goal for the ball. Mick fight is after him, but he gets the ball in towards Eamon O'Donnell, who, who is running into the pass. And the high shot by Eamon O'Donnell. Eamon O'Donoghue the finisher as Eamon running in knowing that pass was coming to him was in possession and in position and sent the ball over to make it 13 to 9 in favour of Kerry and 10 minutes gone in the second half. And from the kick out there is a free to me on the halfway line far side of the field Terry Kern's gone across to take it. High ball by Terry, well upfield, nicely held in the centre by John O'Keefe. John under pressure now, still with the ball, however. Shorty, a well-placed pass that goes to DJ Crowley. DJ soloing up the field in real DJ style. Pass across to Pat Griffin. Pat Griffin dodging his way through. He's tackled. He gets the ball back to DJ. DJ coming through with it now. He takes his shot in towards the goal. And Jack Quinn grabbing the ball in front of his goal. Coming out now with a clearance. And it's me the attacking again. But the attack broken up pretty quickly by Mick O'Connell in possession. Mick 50 yards out. Now 40. Coming across this side of the field. Still with the ball. Out now to Brendan Lynch. Brendan Lynch. Getting a high ball that's gone and over the bar for a point for Kerry. Kenny in gear now as Mick O'Connell under pressure, not trying to do it all himself. Feeding the waiting Brendan Lynch and Brendan sending it over, making it 14 to 9. 11 minutes gone in the second half. But remember the comebacks that this Mead team have made in the championship this year. So too of Kerry, but uh, Mead have certainly made history doing it. And right now they're coming back as Tony Brennan sends the ball out to Mick Fay. Mick Fay misjudges the hop, goes over his head, and Seamus Murphy trying to get it up, but it won't come. Mickey Fay is after him. Seamus Murphy is after him. The ball's gone out off the lead man, according to the linesman. The, but the referee has blown his whistle and has awarded a free to me. Free to me on the 21-yard line, five yards into the sideline, under the shadow of the Hogan stand up on the left, and Big Bay takes it. Nice ball, a high one, a lovely point from a very awkward angle, a very nicely taken point. Making it now 14 to 10, Big Bay the scorer, and just 12 minutes gone in the second half. From the kick out, Johnny Cullities kick comes out to Ken Rennix who's come out the field with a switch in the Meads team. Rennix fouled in possession. Rennix is playing at left half forward and Mick Mallett gone top of the right. Tom Prendergast and the half back line creating absolute havoc there as far as me the concerned. And Ken Rennix has been moved out and Mick Mallett gone in at right corner forward. Bertie Cunningham has come up, come up to take this free from the 50 yard line. 49 to the left, Big Bay has gone for it, he's got it on the 14-yard line, cutting inside now. Seamus Murphy is after him, he takes his shot right across the goal. It hasn't got out of play, it hasn't got into the net either. It's right out on the far side of the field, and Mike O'Shea is tripped as he gets to the ball, and there is a free for 
Uh, yes, the linesman showing us the referee's or the linesman's ball, but it's very definitely a free for carry to be taken by Mike Shea. No, Mike places it, and in fact, it is being taken by Seamus Fitzgerald. Seamus Fitzgerald into the centre of the beam. Tom Candygast again. Tom Candygast up field, and it's Pat Reynolds now. Trying to get past DJ Crowley, not an easy thing to do, but he does. Now he's trying to get past Emil O'Donoghue. Low ball up far side of the field. Tony Brennan running onto it, getting it. 70 yards out to the carry goal. Tony coming across into the centre. Neither attacking now. Teddy Kearns moved up into the ball. Joe Murphy with the ball now. Gets inside Paul O'Donoghue. The ball knocked away from him. Teddy Kearns has gone back there. Joe Murphy has come out for the ball again. He's got it on the 14-yard line. He takes his shot and he hit the upside and come back into play. The number of times the uprights hit in a big game. Today, that's the first one, I think. But uh, it certainly saved Terry there. Although a lot of people would argue there shouldn't have been any need for an upright to save it. It should have gone straight over, but it didn't. Line ball for me, just outside the Kerry 50-yard line. High ball, dropping 21 yards out. Held by Matt Kerrigan. Matt Kerrigan held, and there's a free for me dead straight in front of the goal. Tony Brennan to take the kick on the 20... No, he's decided he won't. And it's Mick Fay to take it. Mick, the scorer of three goals in an exciting Leinster final. A pause now while Mick fixes his lace. Ten points for me, but Kerry leading by 14 to 10. And what's Mick going to do now? Is he going to be satisfied to tap it over? It's a long, long way to go. Only 15 minutes gone in the second half. Here he comes. And he sends it over the bar for a point for me by Mick Fay, reducing the Kerry lead to three points, and now it's 14 to 11. Three points between them, and it's 15 minutes gone in the second half. 